Hey folks, we just got done riding Ducati's new 2022 Multi Strata V4 Pikes Peak. This is a variation of Ducati Motor Holdings Multi Strata V4 adventure touring bike that they debuted for the 2021 model year. Now, this particular vehicle is positioned as more of a sport touring adventure touring motorcycle. Think BMW's S1000XR. Now, Ducati has fitted 17 inch forged aluminum wheels on this motorcycle and a whole bunch of other modifications to make this a more capable sport touring bike on the pavement. This bike continues to be powered by Ducati's 1158cc V4 engine. This engine is totally awesome. It's based on the Panigale V4 Superbike powertrain, which we fell in love many years ago. I really like this engine. It has a lot of power, it has a lot of character, it's smooth, it sounds good. It doesn't have any annoying vibration. It does kind of suck the fuel down, but Ducati wisely fitted a nearly six gallon fuel tank on this motorcycle, so you're gonna have some capacity on it. Now, this particular Pikes Peak variation is fitted with Olean's semi-active suspension versus the Marzocchi, I believe, semi-active suspension on the 1917 Multistrada V4S. We didn't really get a chance to really whale on this bike today, but based on my experience with the Panigale V4S, that suspension kicks butt, you're gonna be really happy with it. Ducati made the ergonomics on this motorcycle a little bit more road orientated. So the handlebar is a little lower, rider rear sets are a little bit higher, a little bit farther back. This gives more cornering clearance if you're getting some on asphalt. Realistically, that little bit of ergonomic change, it kind of makes for a little bit more demanding riding style. I prefer the, the standard uh, Multi-Strata V4S with its lower pegs and wider bar. You can still really get some on that motorcycle, so it's almost a moot point to have more aggressive ergonomics, I think. As usual, this vehicle has a very nice, bright 6.5 inch color TFT display. The display is very bright. The menu system, the layout has a lot going on though. There's a lot of information in it, but it's kind of positioned in different areas. So there's a lot going on. It takes a while to figure out the menu system. The switch gear could be simplified too. While I appreciate that the switch gear has backlighting on it, I don't think any other motorcycle has backlit switch gear, which is nice when you're riding at night. There's a lot of buttons. Ducati could do really well with just simplifying the user interface on this vehicle. This bike also has adaptive cruise control, which is a radar based cruise control system that allows you to keep pace with the vehicle in front of you. We've used that setup a lot. It's very handy. It works easy. It's very intuitive to use. Great job, Ducati. This bike also has the same type of brake discs and pad material as the V4S Panigale Superbike. I always like the Multistrada V4 original Multistrada brakes. These are better in theory, but the previous version are great, so either way you're getting a great braking package. It's also worth noting that Ducati has three level ABS adjustment, so you can tune the ABS character for your preference. The ABS programming on these vehicles is at a very advanced level. You can be a very, very fast rider and really get some on this motorcycle. And in a lower ABS setting, you're not gonna have a lot of lever kickback or a lot of electronic intervention that holds you back. If you're new to riding or want the extra stability of rear ABS on, cornering ABS, this vehicle has it and it keeps you from having any braking instability when you're using the front or rear brake lever. Overall, a really nice motorcycle from Ducati. I love the engine. I love how smooth it is. I love the handling on this bike. They handle great. But realistically, 
This motorcycle costs $4,900 more than the standard Multistrada V4. And you're not really getting a whole lot. I mean, besides the Olean's suspension and the 17 inch rims, realistically, the, the 1917 Ducati does so well in the asphalt that this is almost, it doesn't even really matter in a way. And the 1917 Ducati, you can still ride off road if you want, which is totally awesome too. So for my money, I would buy the standard Ducati Multistrada V4S. All right, folks, that's a wrap from today's review on the 2022 Ducati Multistrada V4 Pikes Peak. Make sure to surf on over to MotorcyclistOnline.com. That's where all of my content lives. Give this video a, th a thumbs up if you liked it. Give this video a thumbs down if you didn't. And thanks for riding with us today. We'll see you next time.